So Kaylee might be putting his son in a politically incorrect situation. I don't know if you've thought about that yet, and I'm not sure. This is the reason why you and your wife can't agree. Actually, my wife is in agreement. I just use that to get it on air. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair because enough. normally if I say me and my <laughs> wife are battling against something, it normally makes it on air. So, fair <laughs> enough. so that's fair my enough. strategy, okay? I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Bert loves the, the discord in my house. Duh. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We do get odd enjoyment when you and Aaron are going toe to toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are consistent. Yeah. But, I am very But in this case, you guys are agreeing. entertaining. Consistently entertaining. <laughs> no, thank Thanks. you. Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are kind of in agreement. My son has expressed interest in a hairstyle. Um, dreadlocks, I guess you'd call them. Twists, whatever. Um, and he wants, and he really likes, um, is it Fernando? Fernando Tat- Tatis Jr. <laughs> he really likes his hair. Okay. Which I'm like, dude. Who is this dude? He's uh, a shortstop for the Padres. That, which, uh, which Bert was very excited about when they signed you know, him, right? And, and, and okay. Yeah, very excited until, until. <laughs> yeah, until he got uh, busted for uh, steroids. Yes. That was kind of a bummer. Wasn't he sick or something? Like yeah. That? No. Yeah, he had an insect bite, he said. So he put steroids on it. Right. Any human, human growth hormones. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> was that the excuse for, for yeah. real? Yeah. I got bit by <laughs> some <laughs> crazy <laughs> mosquito. <laughs> said he was, yeah, it's a long story. Right, right. Only so, steroids can save me. He's got some pretty cool hair. Yeah, he does. And so, you know, in my house, I'm like, you know, my son wanted earrings. I used to be a body piercer. I've got tattoos all over. So we're in my house, you know, I wasn't even allowed to get an earring until I don't even. Actually, I was never. I just uh-huh. did it. Uh-huh. I got kicked out of my house because I got a tattoo after they told me not to. Really? I was like, fine, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go be a body piercer. That's what I'm going to do for a living. <laughs> so you're sort of embracing this attitude in your house. If that's the way your son wants to yeah. do, go, go yeah. for it. Be different. Yeah, you different can't, is beautiful. You can't get tattooed till you're 18. But if you want to get your ears pierced, get it. You know, you want dreadlocks, get it. Mm-hmm. You know, let's do it. Oh, I mean, I know, um, you know, a white person's hair is a little bit different than, you know, the lovely hair of, you know, most black people. Um, so twisting it is going to be a little bit more of a challenge because his hair is just not as thick. He doesn't have that texture. So he's going to have to get it probably pretty, I mean, greasy and, mm-hmm. and you know, put a lot of product in it to get it going. Um, I know a lot of people, uh, white people that have dreadlocks. So, but I guess, is this a politically sensitive subject? Yeah, it feels like any time like a Kardashian or a white celebrity does that, then um, it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Appropriation. Appropriation, Appropriation. yes. So is it true? How old's your son? He is 10. 10. So does it offend in any way, shape, or form? one 855 We got Mo and Katie here. I would not normally say this, but if you're a new listener, it's important. They are both black. <laughs> Last time I checked. I think. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Yeah. I still see still got it. it. I still see it. All right, good. Yeah. Um, I think Katie is more qualified to speak to this than me. Why? Because she's a woman. Oh. Okay. But well, we're both black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I never I never really got the the hair thing as much as like I've wanted to get it. But I do know for, for a lot of black women, like it's a it's a very important thing. It is. And in this situation, I feel that um there's nothing wrong with Kaylee's son getting locks at all. I just think you need to understand the history of locks and teach your son that so that it's not like, oh, this is just a cool hairstyle. More so of it's a nice hairstyle that you want to have, but here's why, where it originated and why so that you're appreciating because it's it's more so an, showing him an appreciation to the culture. And for those who don't know, like locks, they you know, originated like in the late 19th century after the Kenyans fought the British, right? And they basically created their hairstyle, the Kenyans created their hairstyle as a rebellion and a way to express themselves. However, the British called them dreadful. They said that hairstyle was dreadful, hence dreadlocks. Really? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So much so that now it's starting to change where people will not really refer to locks as dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. They just say locks now. But, I mean, either way, people still use the term dreadlocks. But it's because of that, because of that war and stuff like that. So I feel like if you 
if your son does this hairstyle, it's more so just to educate him on the origins of it. Well, so real talk then for a second. All right, so let's say you don't know Kaylee, you don't know his son, but you guys are all at Publix together at the same time, right? And you see this kid that's got locks, right? And you don't know Kaylee, you don't know his son. As a black person, are you like, what's up with that? Or are you assuming, you're probably not assuming that the education is there. Yeah, I'm definitely not assuming that education not, not is assuming there. So are you no. slightly offended then? Oh, when he first mentioned it, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, in the studio, uh -huh. I did. I was like, yo, you, you know, I was a little thrown off. But then I was like, well, this is just a teaching moment. So I did a little research because after our conversation, after your reaction to that in the studio. Which is and, why it got on air. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't but, need to use Aaron in this yeah. case. Right, right. And, and there's, and, and, and the story that you said about his, the history of it uh, is probably true. I haven't looked into that, but from some of the stuff I read and it said dreadlocks aren't African American at all. I mean, there are a lot of things to a lot of people. So, I mean, it can be, but dreadlocks have been linked to Vikings, Greeks, Rastafarians, the Old Testament. I mean, really, if anybody just lets their hair go, no, like nomads, I mean, hippies, because if you don't, I mean, if you just let your hair go, it's going to naturally start to dread. I don't really care what color you are. It's just, that's just how it forms when you don't comb it. Maybe you don't wash it a lot. Um, you're going to have these, these knots. Now you can twist them and stuff. So, and I, I don't doubt what you said about the history, but to it's say like, that it's just, you know, it's not just African American. It's, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of races and cultures back before even that time that have true. That had dreadlocks or is what you would call it. I don't know what they called it back then. This, this might be one of those questions of, um, intent versus impact. I, you know, it, then that's a good question. And, and I would say, I'd answer it, I think showing love for something and doing so with respect to the culture mm -hmm. is appreciation more than anything. Yeah. It can be. And, that's, and I think that's what, it's a fine line, right, between appreciation and appropriation. And I, right. I, I feel like it's not so much about the origin of it. It's just the fact that in African-American culture, that's where you've seen it. And it wasn't accepted. It was like every like you you lose jobs because of it. You can't get into certain classrooms because of it. So it always it came with a negative stigma typically. So when you see white people do it, when black people are so accustomed to being insulted for having it, you just wonder where it's coming from. And then that's where it's important right. for to I guess to show that this is appreciation, not appropriation. And, and, I'm sorry. Here is Selena. Good morning. You're on the Bircha. Hi, good morning. Morning. Love your show. Thank you. Um, I do agree with an extent with uh, uh, what Mo said, but I do think it is cultural uh, um, uh, appropri appropriation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, you just don't really see white people with that type of hair, especially especially since, like you said, black people. We've been having all these issues about locks in our hair so so i'm wondering the same question for you then and i'm just wondering here kaylee because this might be a position that you're putting your son is in is that if he starts getting hairy eyeballs um pun intended and and i'm sure <laughs> and i'm sure there will be some people that will. do uh -huh, uh, you sure. know react to him like that but you know people react to people all the time for a lot less than that and give them hairy eyeballs uh here is samantha good morning you're part of the bird show hi Good morning. Morning. Okay. I have locked myself. I'm black and I'm Caribbean descent. And I don't think there's anything wrong for um, any race to wear locks. Um, we have white people in Guyana, Jamaica, Trinidad, everywhere. So, and they have locks themselves. The only thing, like Katie and Mo was saying, we don't call them dreadlocks. We call them locks. Okay. Because it was once a time, you know, they right. said we were dread. We weren't able to be employed. You know, we lost our jobs. We couldn't wear locks, braids, afros, or anything like that. So I think that's, you know, the only thing people might look at it. Okay, now everybody wants to wear it. But white people have been have, um, had locks as well. 
We just didn't see it as much. Could it get to a okay. point, do you guys think, that somebody would be so offended by it that they won't say anything to his kid, but they might say something to Kaylee or his wife? I doubt I it. I don't think so. I, I think if you get the wrong person that, you know, where they're just shocked by it, yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you know, it, people have opinions on everything. It'll be, like, eye-rolling more mm-hmm. than anything else. It's, but I highly doubt, like, that he'll go through anything or someone to say something to him or you. It's the Burt Show. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get way more of The Burt Show on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your favorite podcast.